Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about the corresponding angles and sides of similar shapes. All right, so for the first couple pages, you're gonna take notes with me, and then you have a chance to pause the video and try some problems on your own, and then at the end, you can see how you did. All right, so let's take a look first at these two uh, triangles. And these two triangles, first of all, are similar. All right, so they're the same shape, but different sizes. But let's focus on the angles. All right, so don't worry about the lengths but just the angles. And the big thing about corresponding angles is that they're, they're equal, all right? So take a look at this angle A here, all right? This angle A, right, is gonna be exactly the same as this angle D, all right? Notice there's one little mark here, there's one little mark here, that means that they're the same angle measure, all right? Angle B has two marks, and so does angle E, all right? So that means the measure of this angle is gonna be the same as this one. And then finally, take a look at angle C, there's three marks, and so does angle F, which also has three marks, all right? Now, here's kind of the cool thing about this. You don't necessarily need the images to actually figure it out because over here, it says triangle ABC is similar. That's what little, that little mark means to angle DEF. And what you can do is you can actually use the order of the letters to actually come up with the um, angles that are similar. So notice how letter A is the first letter in the series, and so is letter D. So that means angle A and angle D are congruent. So let's make a little list over here. So angle A and angle D, they're congruent, all right? Now look at the middle letters. Here we have B, and over here we have letter E, right? And again, notice, look, here's B. B has two marks, and so does E. It's the same, all right? So we know that angle B and angle E also are congruent. And then finally, the last letter is C and F, all right? And again, here's C, here's F, so angle C and angle F, that's our third pair of congruent angles, all right? So finally, if you please box this in, this is a key thing to remember, so corresponding angles of similar figures are the same, are right? they exactly the same. So if angle A was 60 degrees, angle D is 60 degrees. If angle C is 70 degrees, that means angle F is 70, 70 degrees. All right, let's move our focus now to corresponding sides. And this is a little bit different, all right? So here we have the same shapes, okay? But this time, um, we wanna come up with the corresponding sides. Now, corresponding sides are basically the same location in, uh, in each triangle. So if you notice, here we have side A, B. Now, side AB, that's the first two letters of this series, right? Well, the first two letters over here is D and E. So D and E, those are also cor uh, corresponding sides. So we're gonna have side AB and side DE. That's one set of corresponding sides. All right, now I'm gonna use a different color for the next set. So here we have AC, right? And notice that's the first and third letter, which means D and F will correspond with A and C. So we're gonna have angle AC, or excuse me, side AC, and DF. All right, and finally, there's one last one. Um, we have side BC and side EF, okay? And again, BC, that's the last two letters, and so is EF. All right, so we have side BC and side EF. And those are our, our pairs of corresponding sides. All right, so why don't you pause the video and try the your turn now problems. And when you're done, uh, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say do these practice problems. So the directions state that you have to identify all the corresponding angles and sides of the shapes below, all right? So here we have two triangles, and we're gonna just say that they're similar, all right? So that means our angle measures are gonna be the same. So let's start at the top here. So here we have angle X and angle F, all right? So this will be one set of corresponding angles. Let's write this over here. So angle X and angle F, that's what we should have had. All right, the next set will be over here, W. So we'll have angle W and then angle E. So angle W 
and angle E. And then finally, we're going to have angle Y and then angle G. So angle Y and angle G. So those are the corresponding angles. All right, now let's go with the corresponding sides. All right. And because we've kind of already identified the corresponding angles, it's pretty easy to see. All right, so here we know that XW, right? So we're going from green to blue. So XW is going to correspond with F and E. So side XW and F and E are a pair of corresponding sides. And now we have WY and E and G, right? That's another set. So we have WY and E and G. And then finally, our last set would be XY, right? Again, going from the red to the green. So XY and then F and G. F and G. And there it is. All right. So there's our, our three pairs of corresponding angles and our three pairs of our corresponding sides of the two triangles, which, which are similar. All right. How'd you do?